Hi guys, it's me Karen, and I've come to do a picture in the Mouse Guard book. I'll show you the cover. And it's by David Peterson. And we're going to do this picture on this side. I'm going to be doing it in Distress Inks. So I have a whole bunch of them here. We'll get a picture of them all. Oh, these have come out in separate sections, and I'm only going to use two of these. So we'll take them out. Okay, so we have the um, mustard seed and spiced marmalade in the small cubes. And then we have stormy sky, hickory smoke, vintage photo, gathered twigs, and a crushed olive. And I'm going to be using these all to color in this page. I might use some pencils to do some extra shading, but everything else is going to be done in just these colors. They're going to be done with either a mini distress tool or one of these, which is just a distress tool. And I also have a water brush. So I may do it in um, some water brushing also. So I'm going to get the camera down a little bit and we will get started. Okay, we're going to start here with the lantern. I know it's an odd thing to start with, but we are going to start with that part because it's the lightest. We're going to take a mustard seed and we are going to uh, just ink up kind of the whole pad here because it's big enough to go right in the center. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to set it in the center and make a nice big kind of a glowy surface here. Okay, because the lantern is going to glow on all of those portions. All right, so we have glow on his fur, his coat, his arm, and in this surrounding area. We're going to take the spiced marmalade and we are going to darken the center of this so I'm going to only ink one portion and we're going to kind of make that like the candle glow in the center and just adding that orange in there okay not too hard, just rolling around two colors in there. <laughs> so that is done. We will have to do some work on the outside to get the lantern a different color, but that is fine. Oh, I gotta take the um, ink pad off. It goes in the bottom of these things so I don't lose them. And then they stack together. One of the nice things about the little ones. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and do um, the sky. So we have to do some blocking here on the um, outside here. So I'm just taking a couple of sticky notes that I have laying on my desk. And I'm just gonna put them right on that line right there. The line on the top. And anywhere their sky is gonna be colored in. I don't want it coming outside of that area. Now I'm doing this in Distress Ink um, because I love working with Distress Inks and I know some people don't because they haven't grasped the um, use of it without getting it to make a mark. Um, <laughs> you can do this whole process with pastels if you want to just scrape it off and rub it in with your finger. I'm just going to do it this way because I like it. <laughs> I enjoy it a lot. So I'm going to start out here on my paper and I'm going to bring in some of this blue. Pushing it towards the little mouse. And you'll notice I have little lumps in here too. If you just rub it a little bit more, you can blend that out. And I want to make it dark anyway, so I'm going to put it there. I need to get another piece up here. 
because if I'm not careful, I'll go out of that line. Okay, bring it in. We want to blend out that line I put in, so we'll just add a little bit more ink there and bring it around. I'm making a dark blue sky because he's carrying a lantern around. It's probably nighttime. So I want to bring it down in between all these little things. So I'm just inking up that little corner. Just kind of brushing it there and then I'll just put it down and brush it around in here. Avoiding that leaf and hopefully avoiding his sword a little bit. Bring it all the way down. The leaves are obviously going to be colored in green and the blue can be a shadow, so we can get it in there a little bit. And anywhere in there that might be sky instead of leaf. Okay, I'm gonna bring it all the way down to the ground here. All right, while I've got my inks out, I'm going to get a brown in there also. So I'll just take um, a different sponge here. Maybe you can see exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take the gathered twigs and I'm just gonna ink the corner and you see that's all I put on there. This is where the ink is mostly this is just kind of overfill from pushing it down on the pad. And I'm just going to use that and add in some brown here. Just here in there. We're also going to bring this, still just using that portion, down here to the bottom. And put it in where the twigs are. Just using that one piece, using that as my line and my gauge of where I'm putting it. Got a leaf in here. Okay, so we've got the brown down there. Put a little brown in the little lantern here too. Why not? Okay, put that away. We will get a little of the green. We're gonna do the leaves and I'm gonna put it on this side. I should probably move one of these down here for the leaves. Just going to ink up this side so it's a little green right there and I'm just going to go around and color in the leaves Okay, we're going to grab another color of green that was crushed olive, and I'm going to probably grab, um, let's see, got here, that's not a green. <laughs> I have my peeled paint, and I'm going to do it right here on the pad. And get a nice color in there and just go over a bit in here and bring in a different color it's 
okay if I go out here. I can get it out in here too. Okay. Take those off. Let's see the background. If we don't like anything that's out here, we can take our water brush and just kind of blend that around a little bit. Pull some of this into his little areas here. And just help it along with its blending. Okay, we're gonna do the little mousy and we're gonna do him by putting some of this hickory smoke right on this plastic sheet. Just dabbing it on there. So you can, I don't know, see it probably better that way. And hopefully you can see that. We're going to put our pen, our um, water brush into this. I'm gonna pull some of that down and get it really light. I'm gonna double check to make sure this is a gray color. It's kind of a grayish brown, which is fine. So we're going to take it up here on his ear. And when you bring it down, you're adding more water. So it's thinning it out. Up here on this ear. This one would be uh, darker because it's in the background. I'm going to do his fingers. I've got some up here. Okay. Little feet. Hopefully you can see that. So the foot here. Okay, then we'll get his face up here. I'm trying to get out a little more water. Okay, I'll let that dry. It will dry a little lighter. Can add a little darkness here. Now we've got to do his um bottom half, I forgot. <laughs> it's not gonna do me much good, is it? He needs a bit of color down here too.
Okay, we'll see how he dries. And then we will get a color for his cape going and his shirt and his sword. Okay, we're mostly dry. You might have noticed some of these little um, darker marks when I was painting it. We're going to fix that up. I'm not going to worry about it um, with a Prismacolor pencil. So some of these are dark down here. If you can see that, I'll even turn on the light so maybe you can see it a little better. Okay, so I'm just going to take the white and kind of go over those markings. And it'll come right up. Okay, and any place that I got a little heavy handed, we can go in with the white Prisma also. Then we're going to take in some um, cool grays. This is 30. And you can add in a little bit of shading with those. So any place that didn't get coloring, you can add it in very lightly. And then darker down towards the bottom which I'm going to run around and do a little later. But back up here on his ear also, we get a little heavy handed with the water and the white Prisma will take that right out. Also soften up any lines that I got a little too dark. Okay, so we'll be working on that, adding a little more white around his little nose here. Okay, and just kind of making a blend of that. We're going to go ahead and put on a um, green or blue, green or blue. I got to decide which one I want blue and which one I want green. So I think I'll go with green on the back. And we will just use our, oh, where did I put that? Peeled paint. And we're going to go in with this detail tool. Just go where it's the darkest and pull it out. And then with the little bit of ink that is on there after you do that, you can go in the lightest spots. Automatically gives you a highlight that way. So the darkest area. And then you can bring in really nice and light. And do the same thing over here. It's darkest in the wrinkles. And then I gotta figure out what is his arm and what is hmm, cape has got the little dots. There we go. Just like that. The cape is done. Okay. Go in with blue for his shirt. And I think we'll brighten the blue up and we'll put in some of this blue. And it is peacock feathers. I'm going to stick with blue on it. And same here. Find where you're going to have the darkest colors. Oh, that's bright. That's a bag. Okay. shadow underneath this and then you just bring down the color into where it's light. I'm going to use this like a pen and then just let go of all the pressure when you are in the lightest areas. Maybe part of the shirt. There's going to be shadow here so you want that darker. It's under the cape. Under his tie here, under his nose, Up around here, and we'll keep that yellow going there, but we want to add a little bit of the blue. Add a little 
blue in there too and just give that an extra bit of shadow. I do need to get the same color on the other side though. I missed this piece. So back in with the peeled paint, all this down here, add in some green, but I still want that yellow to show so I'm not going to put it in too dark. We're going to bring in a little bit of the um, gathered twigs here. Doo -doo -doo, what color do we have for? So we use this end here. I'm going to put it on his. Um, I don't know, banded he's got on his feet. Wraps. So dark down at the bottom and then just lightly touch up the rest of it. And his bag, I'm going to do that the same color. We're also going to add in some of this into the green as shadows. I'm also going to take this up into the leaves. Just darken that up a little bit. Just dragging around the edge here, kind of outlining that. In here too. Sorry, I'm going to darken that up on both sides. And up here on the ring, just adding it there. going to take a bit of this gray and we're going to wipe off the ink I have on that. Don't want too much brown in it. You can get the tips of these wet but um, they take a long time to dry so I'm just going to wipe some off. I'm going to pull some of this straight up. So kind of you see where this is black. If you start down here in the black and pull it up, you won't get as much of a line on there as if you just pushed it right down, you'd get a line. Darken up and we're getting brown in there. It's okay, he can have multicolored fur, right? Need to do his tail a little bit too. Around the edge there. Go in and darken up his knuckles a little bit. Thumb. Then we're going to go up here in his ear, darken that up. His little whiskers that are here.
nose. Around the side up here. It's back here a little bit better. We're gonna go under his shirt here where kind of bunches. Add some of that in there too. And let's see what else. I'm gonna put a little pink inside his ear. So we're gonna go in with a little Victorian velvet. I'm gonna use the same end that I was using. So it's got a little bit of the gray brown mixture we were using and we're gonna get some pink in it. And we're just gonna add that in this area. The inside of his ear. There we go. Just gonna wipe some of that off. Most of it off. Do, 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 do. Okay, I wanna get uh, some color going down this here and we're going to use, I think, some of this pumice stone. Yeah, that'll work. So we'll make the handle a little darker. And then bring it up the sword. And down the sword. There we go. I'm going to use that on the chain mail too. Just around where it's the darkest. Going to make some wrinkles in it. I'm not going to sit just flat on him. Looks good. Add a little of that to his toes down here. You can't tell I like to mix the inks up quite a bit. Especially on this page. I'm having fun with it. His tail. A little of this up here in his ears too. Okay, we can let that dry and then we will be right back. Uh, I decided before I let it all dry, I'm going to darken up his shirt a little bit. So this is the stormy sky I used in the background. And I'm just going to bring some of that in just to tone down that bright, bright blue we have going on there. Yeah, 
I like that color a little better. I really try to get it dark underneath that side of the cape. Now we'll let it dry. <laughs> Be back in a second. Okay, we're just about dry. And I'm taking a white Prisma and I'm going to add a little bit of white in the sword just to blend it a little bit. We're going to go up on his fur, kind of put some fur marks in there, but not a bunch. I kind of like the color I have going on here. Okay, especially down here. Hopefully you can see that. In this fur, we're going to put some white marks up here too. Sit back up here on his face. Take in some, and I'm going to get a darker gray too. Okay, this is the 50%. And we're going to draw some of those lines back in fur down at the bottom. Just pulling some of that up. Then we'll do the same up here in this face. Smaller little strokes. Pulling in from his ears. And I'm going to go in with, this is 30%. And I need to sharpen that. <laughs> Just going to run in with the same little lines going upward. And pulling some downward from the sides. Here's... cover him completely up in fur, but I want to give him the illusion that he is. Just a little bit more around his face here. And I'm going to bring in the lightest color, which is 10%. And anywhere we want to lighten him up here. 
Let me just add some more of these lines in. And then white. I'm going to add a little bit more blue up here. So we're going to add our little pieces back. Then we're going to add in the stormy sky on top of this. It looks a little too light to me. I'm just going to bring it back in and darken it up. I'm going to use the little tool and get in really close here. sword Down around him. Okay, that should be dark enough. I've got some over here, but that's all right. I'll take that off. I don't know if you could see all that. I just tainted it. I'm sorry. The pencil sharpener in this book is really long, and I'm trying to keep it going up and down, but I can only get so far on this side. <laughs> So I've got it nice and dark in the background. We want to darken up his little scar here. Don't forget we have fur in there.
There we go. He's looking pretty good. I'm liking this area right here. It's going to lighten that up a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna let them dry a little bit more. I'm gonna erase this little blob over here on this side, and I will take a picture at the end and show you what he looks like all dried up. I need to put a little color there in his belt. A little pink. I don't know if there's any pink on there. Where's the other tool I had out here? Any of these have some ink on them there? It's a little brown. <laughs> and on the belt buckle here too. Okay, I might um, just darken this up a little bit. Should do that with browns. We might add a little color in these, leaving most of that orange yellow color, but we want a little color on these, so we'll just shade it where they go under the areas. Because they'll still be glowing from the candlelight. A little bit more gray in his tail here. Darken that. Go in with the lighter one. Any coloration you want to add into his toes or his fur. Yeah, I think it's cute. Okay, I'll let him dry and then I'll take a picture at the end and stick it in. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video. Take care everyone. Bye now.